Hello everyone, I'm so glad you joined today because today I will be making this simple fruit coffee cake as in you as I would say but in Czech Republic we call this bublanina and it's made with fruit and you can choose any kind of fruit you like you can do fresh, canned, even frozen so this is a really great recipe it's super simple and easy so I hope you will give it a try and you will enjoy this and this will become a family staple at your house. So all we need is two cups all-purpose flour, one cup of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, one cup of milk, two eggs, two tablespoons of oil. Here I have some flour oil. Then we will need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And here I have four cups of strawberries. It's about four cups you will need three, four cups, it uh, really depends, uh, you will see how much you will need and this, uh, this will make about one pound. Uh, we will be baking it in a 9 by 13 inches baking pan and you will need to put some butter or oil and dust it with flour so it nicely come out when, it, when you will be cutting it and then we will put some powdered sugar on top. And also, you will need more than one cup of granulated sugar because I like to spring some sugar on top of the cake, on top of the fruit, because it just makes it a little more sweeter because many times the fruit is not as sweet. So this just adds a little more sweetness and that's what we like. So let's start with the recipe. I have here melted butter, so I will use that to brush the pan, but you can also use oil. Now we will sprinkle it with flour. I am using Wondra flour because it's a little more coarse and I like the way it's easily spreadable. But if you don't have Wondra, just use all-purpose flour. And normally I would do it over the sink because we want to do also the sides and sometimes the flour will come out. It's perfect and now the leftover flour I'll put back in and then we have the tray ready for baking. Since I have KitchenAid mixer, I will be mixing it in it, uh, but if you don't have, you can just use hand mixer. So let's first uh, start with the dry ingredients. We have two cups of all-purpose flour, one cup granulated sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, and now let's mix it before we start adding the wet ingredients so the cake can rise nicely and evenly. Let's add one cup of milk, two eggs, let's add two tablespoons of oil, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, And if you have a kitchen aid, you will need this attachment. And let's mix it. Sometimes it likes to splash, so I like to stop it and start it. You kind of mix it in. And now we are just looking for until it's all blended. You don't want to over mix your batter because it would dry up the cake. And this looks good. We don't need any serious mixing. Now it's ready to be put in the baking tray and let's preheat the oven to 350. Uh, I noticed that sometimes the kitchen aid will not get the bottom all the way and there could be little dry ingredients on the bottom. So I just mix it with my spatula which I will use to scrape off the batter out just to make sure that it's all uh, mixed in. So let's put it in. Now spread it out to cover the whole bottom. Now let's put the fruit on top. So I used the whole four cups, everything I cut, because I like lots of fruit in it. And now we will sprinkle more granulated sugar on top to give the fruit a little more sweetness. But you might not need to do it if you have 
a canned fruit because it's already canned with sugar so you don't want to have it too sweet this is good and now as soon as the oven is preheated we will put it in and we will bake it for about 45 minutes sometimes it takes 50 uh, because I like to have the top a little more darker so it depends on your oven but just uh, keep an eye on it and uh, let's start with 45 minutes on 350. I left it there in the oven for 50 minutes and because the strawberries were really juicy they released some juices but it's all good so now I will let, the, let it cool off and then I can sample but it looks delicious. So we are done and it was super fast and here I have it with powdered sugar. Mm. It's so good. Mm. This is so good. You can feel the crispiness of the strawberries because of the seeds and just the juiciness and it's all working so well together. I just love it. It's fluffy, it's not dry at all because of the fruit. And also I recommend when you will putting the, the fruit in, make sure that it's dry, that it's not wet because it will make the, uh, the cake a little mushy. So make sure that it's, it's dry. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Well, I'll be enjoying this. I hope you go and make it too. Have a great day guys. Bye.